Today, we're diving into an amazing logo design tutorial in Photoshop. Let's jump right into it. All right, first things first. Grab that text tool and type in Xiyama. This is where the magic starts. You can download the font I am using from the link in the description below. Go ahead and get that. Now here's where things get interesting. Select just the letter A. We're going to change its font to Lemon Milk. This adds that sharp, dynamic feel we're going for. Don't worry if you don't have it yet, I've got the download link in the description for you too. Next up, let's give this text some real power. Right-click your text layer and rasterize it. That's going to allow us to make some creative tweaks. Grab that pen tool now, and here's where your creativity comes in. We're going to create a custom shape on the letter A. Think of it like making a little gap that's going to transform the look completely. Right-click, choose Make Selection, and watch the magic unfold. Now hide that shape, go back to the text layer, and pick the eraser tool. We're going to erase a portion of the A right where that gap was, making it look sleek and customized. Done? Great. You can delete the shape layer now, and let's move on to the next part of our masterpiece. Time for some precise adjustments. Pick the rectangular marquee tool and make a selection around X and I. This part's all about positioning. Right-click and choose Layer via Cut. Drag that section slightly to the left. Next, it's circle time. Pick the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key, and draw a perfect circle. Increase the thickness to make it bold and vibrant. Then adjust it so it perfectly hugs the letter A. Loving it yet? Because I am. Okay, now let's fine tune this even more. Hold the control key and click on the text layer to make a selection. Then grab the pen tool and get creative again. Draw a custom shape right where we need to erase a section of that ellipse. Right click, choose make selection. Hide that shape, and then go to the ellipse layer. Use the eraser tool to remove that part of the circle. Clean and professional. Here's where it gets even cooler. Hide your background layer. Select all of your layers by holding Shift and press Ctrl plus E to merge everything into one. You've now got a cohesive, sleek-looking logo that's one of a kind. Now, for the final touch, you can download a mock-up from the link in the description. Go ahead, it's free. Once it's downloaded, click on the layer that says, Place your logo here, and it'll open in a new window. Just drag your newly created logo over to that layer and hide the previous one. Close the window, save it. And there you have it. A stunning logo created right here in Photoshop. How awesome does that look? If you love this tutorial and want more cool design tricks, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. And hey, don't forget to drop a comment. I want to hear what you want to see next. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.